It's a colorful night, got red eyes, but it's all blue. Those colorful eyes, they don't shine like they used to. The city don't want us, babe. We won't survive this place. The city don't welcome back to being at mrs frazier or welcome if you're new if you are new go ahead and hit that red subscribe button come along and join my youtube family i'm so grateful that you decided to click on my video today i have a little bit of fun in store we are going shopping uh antique and vintage shopping so we are headed to three different places here in central florida uh, i am super excited i have been on the hunt for a few key pieces and I kind of struggled finding some of them. Now, I will say that one of the places we actually went to um, a while ago or a few weeks back when I got ready to decorate for the 4th of July. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. I used a really cute um, vintage Coca-Cola wooden crate and some um, antique ball mason jars uh, and created a really cute, fun, patriotic uh, tablescape with it. I love the way it turned out. So we did end up going out to Renegers again. Renegers is in Mount Dora, which is kind of central Florida, a little north of Orlando. Now, and then we also went out to... Um, uh ultimat springs which is kind of like a suburb of orlando and we went to a wirewood market i think is what it's called i'll make sure that i leave down here uh, uh, if, so that way you guys can see what it is and then i can also leave links down in the description um so that way i'm not messing anything up and then we also went out to this old barn out in geneva i hope i'm saying that correctly but anyway I absolutely loved Renegers. They have, they are huge. Um, they have, they have a, two kind of separate areas. When you first come in, you can split when you go through the drive and you go one way and you go up, up a hill to the flea market. Um, and then you go down the hill and go into like the antique vintage area. Uh, if you've never been to a flea market, they have a lot of different things to find. Um, they also, it's just a lot of different things. I don't know how to explain it if you've never been to one, uh, but they literally have old and new and cheap, just tons of stuff. Anything your heart could ever imagine or want, you can probably find it at a flea market. Now, the antique spot is really cool. It has like a little, like it has a huge indoor spot for like legit antiques, historical finds. I mean, they had tons of stuff. They have tons of glassware, um, jewelry. They had like historical military stuff, um, US Army, Nazi nazi army stuff um they had just tons and tons of antiques and it was really cool because it was kind of like walking through a time warp if you will um and my kids were pretty it, even fred was pretty impressed with some of the stuff that he has that he saw um some of the stuff because a lot of those types of things you wouldn't see unless you go to a uh, museum or you've been to another country to see some of those items. Um, but anyway, so they have that big building and then on the outside they have a bunch, it's like a row, I think they call it a street of shops or something like that. And it is a bunch of like sheds basically <laughs> made into the cutest shops. Um, like seriously, I, I love the little street of shops. There is so many cute items. Um, I will say that I didn't find any antique or vintage things from Renegers the second time that we went. I did, however, 
pick up a candle it is created by antique candle co um i cannot find this this is sold this scent is sold out online they do have an online store and i absolutely love them i have switched from my bath and body works three wick candles to these soy candles not only do they have an amazing scent but they're soy so they are more friendly to burn um but this one is from mama's kitchen they have a bunch of different other scents if you follow me over on instagram i have been sharing uh my hauls over there because i kind of went a little crazy with the scents and i'm so excited because they just released their fall release their fall bundles um so you know your girl got in on that one a few other things that we picked up well a few other things there's literally soap <laughs> um in an attempt to try to kind of transfer over uh to chemical free items um or something that's you know a little less oh well, yeah chemical free i guess if you will <laughs> hi buddy um we found some goat soap this is actually handmade goat goat milk soap uh they do have a website i think they are from indiana as well but it's the goat milk stuff and i picked up a few bars they were three if you bought three you got them cheaper so i bought six <laughs> um and they smell so good they are just a few different scents here let's see sunrise and lilac uh black raspberry tea tree uh, oatmeal milk and honey and then gardenia um but i'm just trying to kind of kind of go a little more natural with things um but there is the soap and it smells it smells heavenly you guys but i did go on their website um this is actually i actually picked this up at this old mare i think was the name of the little shop in inside of renegers um but they have tons of stuff and I really, really want to go back and check out um, their cow hides. Uh, I want a cow hide so bad for our bedroom and they have one that I'm eyeing. I just, I'm going to sit on it for a minute. <laughs> so anyway, back to the goat milk stuff. You can actually order these online. I will try to remember to leave their link down below as well, but they are also on Instagram and I think Facebook. Um, and they have a ton of other items outside of soap. They have, I think deodorants and lotions and all that stuff. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and leave Renegers now and we will go over to the shop in Altamont. Now this shop was very nice, very well put together. It almost, Fred kind of said that it kind of looked like we were walking into a Kirkland's except for it was actual vintage pieces. Um, it was a beautiful store, very well put out, put together. Uh, the pricing was a smidge high. Um, I did find a few things that I liked, but I didn't want to pay that much for them. So although it was a beautiful shop, if you are in the area, definitely check them out. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the last place that we went. This one, the kids loved. This is this old red barn in Geneva. Um, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. I hope, um, but anyway, again, central Florida is kind of close to Orlando. Uh, all of these places are actually about an hour or so away from us, but definitely worth the drive because we only have one really good shop near us and they are actually closed right now because they have gone picking. <laughs> That's what the lady told me. So anyway, this old red barn is so cool when you pull in i actually thought it was pulling into somebody's property because that's what it looks like um but they obviously live on property and they have used their barn to set up shop they have a bunch of different so what this place is it's basically a bunch of people um that bring their stuff in and it's kind of like a garage sale but like multiple people garage sale i guess if you will uh with antiques handmade goods vintage finds all the stuff uh they have a huge barn building that has different stalls in it 
that have a bunch of cool items and then they have like an actual barn that just kind of goes on and on forever with a bunch of other finds um, in there as well. And then they also had like um, some outdoor setups and stuff like that. They also, when, when I mean the kids loved it, it's because they have farm animals. They have goats, they have chickens, geese, they have donkeys. Um, <laughs> they, the kids loved it. And when we pulled up, the donkey was like making its like hee haw noise. It was hilarious. The kids were like, oh my goodness. <laughs> like, you know, they've not really ever been around stuff like that, except for at like our old zoo. Um, Omaha Henry Dorley Zoo had like, like a petting zoo area with like goats, but they've never really been out in the country and experienced the barn life like that. Um, although I, my family kind of, my mom's family, I should say on my mom's side, uh, lived out in farm country out in Iowa. And so they've experienced a little bit of farm life, but not full on like goats and stuff like that, just more like cattle. So anyway, they were super excited for that. And I thought it was so fun that you guys, you could watch and touch. And then when we were getting ready to leave, they were feeding them. So they were super active, super cute. It makes me want to move out to the country. I'm not going to lie. I would love to live out in the country and have all those farm animals. But anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Let's get back on track and I'll show you what I picked up there because I found tons of stuff there. I'll tell you what I would have spent probably a thousand dollars today if I didn't bring cash and only cash and only a certain amount <laughs> because there was so many items that I wanted that I loved. So I'm definitely going to go back out there and maybe buy some more here in a few weeks. But anyway, let's go ahead and start. I have been on the hunt for a copper kettle and I found this one out there. It was $22. Um, I don't know if that's a good price or not, but I saw it and I was like, I have been on the hunt for that. So I picked it up. It looks to be in fairly a good condition. I mean, the handle looks really good. Um, it's kind of weathered a little bit, but, and then this just comes off. This is where the tag was at, but I absolutely love this. And stay, don't worry, stay till the end and I will show you how I use the decor in, incorporated with the decor that I already have. So I also picked up this scale. I have been on the hunt for a scale as well. I think this guy was $32. Um, he does still work. If I needed to use it, I won't use it. I really just wanted the piece for decor. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I was having a hard time because they had a ton of these scales and I couldn't decide which one I wanted. They had a white one and a brown one and like um, one that kind of looked like it was supposed to be like a aqua color, but it was like rusty. Some really super cool stuff. They also have scales that like hang from the ceiling. I really want to get one of those, but I didn't do it today. I will probably go back and get one though. So next I picked up this old toolbox. Um, this is a handmade, hand carved toolbox. I, I don't know the era or anything like that, but it was $35. It's very large and in charge. I have been on the hunt for one of these for quite some time. Um, I have ideas for a centerpiece with maybe like some flowers or candles or something. Um, so I probably won't use this in decor today, but make sure you're subscribed because I will be using it probably for fall and definitely for Christmas. All right. So last but not least, I found some doilies. Um, they are some vintage doilies. This one is like a table runner. Absolutely beautiful. I just love the pattern on this. And I think this guy was $10. And then I also found this other doily here that's just about half the size. And this one was $8. It's just so pretty. And I am so excited. I have been on the hunt for some really pretty do doilies. Um, so I'm super excited to get these put out in my decor. So 
Anyway, that's gonna be it for the haul. So let's go ahead and get these incorporated into the decor that I already have. And if I would lie and stay, it wouldn't feel the same. I won't lie, I, no, honestly, it doesn't feel like home, like home. Fading out underwater Yeah, are we losing touch? Are we falling? And if I would lie and stay It wouldn't feel the same I won't lie I, No, honestly doesn't feel like home, like home. home feel like home. I faded my so we stay blind. Oh, the sins of the I know some of it looks a little bare, but we'll get there. <laughs> you can't buy everything all at one time. That is the beauty of decor. Um, you know, you buy piece by piece until you have the whole set that looks nice. So I definitely think I'll probably pick up some greenery or something, maybe a copper bowl for the top of that. The tea kettle might get moved. I haven't fully decided on that one yet, but I definitely think it looks really pretty over there and I love the pieces that I found and I can't wait to go shopping again um, or hunting, picking, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. I cannot wait. So anyway, guys, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button. Let me know what items maybe you're on the hunt for if you like vintage decor. But anyway, stay happy, healthy, and safe. Until next time, guys. Bye.